good day students here is another value education lesson and the topic for today is grandparents in this video we will be learning about respecting our elders and taking care of our grandparents so let us start love is making others happy and showing that you care for them those who are older than you and wish you well are elders they are parents grandparents uncles and aunts friends of the family and teachers some of your elders may live with you some may visit you at times elders love you what they want most is to see you happy when elders love and care about you so much you must return that love with your love care and respect in india love and respect is given to elders in olden days the kings used to make the oldest wisest men their ministers the king would never do anything without speaking and listening to their ministers so too at every function in the family elders are asked for help advice and blessings in many homes even today people bow down before their parents and elders or touch their feet every morning before leaving to school college or work if your elders do not live with you you can seek their blessing over the phone or by visiting them whenever you can since elders and grandparents are old they are sometimes clumsy some may not be able to eat neatly because they may not have all their teeth also they may drop things often because their hands are weak some may walk with a limp or slowly some may not be able to hear well and keep asking you to repeat what you said louder some may keep saying the same thing again and again because they forget soon be kind be loving help them never hurt them or make them sad now let us listen to the story called to granny with love it was the festival of eid the entire village was in a festive mood the boys were the most excited mahmud mushin nure sami all were excited at the thought of going to the fair in the neighboring village the happiest boy of all was hamid he was a poor skinny boy of 5 he lived with his grandmother amina she had allowed hamid to go to the fair with the other boys but she was worried how will a small boy walk 3 miles barefoot what if he got lost before letting him go amina called hamid and gave him 15 rupees hamid I have only this much to give you. Be careful and stay with the group. The villagers finally left for the fair. The children running ahead. The fair ground was next to a mosque. On reaching, the men and the boys washed their hands and feet. Then they performed their prayers. Once the prayers were over, the boys ran towards the joy rides. they sat on the giant wheel when they took rides on the roundabout hamid saw his friends enjoying the rides but he decided not to spend his precious money on something that would last only for a short time then the boys ran across to a row of shops selling toys mahmud bought a soldier with a rifle Mushin bought a water carrier. Nure bought a toy car. All these toys were ten rupees each. Hamid was tempted, but he told himself, "What's the use of these toys? One fall and they will break." From the toy shop, the boys moved to the shop selling sweets. They bought halwa, laddus, and gulab jamuns. Hamid's mouth watered when he saw the delicious looking sweets but he bought nothing he had only 15 rupees to spend 
further ahead were shops selling kitchen utensils and other household items the boys were not attracted to these and they moved on all except hamid a pair of iron tongs had caught his attention granny doesn't have a pair of tongs she burns her fingers while making chapatis if i buy only one she will never burn her fingers again he thought hamid stepped forward and asked the shopkeeper how much are these tongs for 20 rupees the shopkeeper replied hamid's heart sank he was speechless for a moment then mastering all his courage he asked i have only 15 rupees to his surprise the shopkeeper gave him the tongs hamid was overjoyed he ran up to his friends what will you do with these laughed moshin do you think this is some kind of a toy said mehmood why not said hamid one hit from my tongs and all your toys will break but nothing can harm my lion hearted warrior the boys were impressed hamid is a clever fellow no wonder he didn't spend his money earlier the boys reached their village hamid ran up to his grandmother and jumped into her lap i have bought these for you granny hamid proudly showed her the tongs what will i do with these amina said in disgust hamid was hurt in an injured voice he said every day you burn your fingers while making chapatis that is why i bought these for you amina's annoyance melted into love to think that a little boy could be so selfless in the midst of all that festivity he still thought of his old grandmother amina broke down and cried she hugged hamid and blessed him a thousand times so children did you like hamid's story do you have grandparents at home we must love and respect them that's all they want from us sometimes elders tell us what to do and what not to do they advise you because they know more about the world than you do they do not want you to make mistakes and suffer it is important that you listen to them they tell you useful things their many years of living may have taught them lessons that can help you so why do we hate it when elders tell us not to do something very often it is the opposite of what you want to do you may want to have an ice cream even when you have a bad cold your elders will tell you not to have it they are right but you may not like it because you still want to have the ice cream they say no because they know that if you eat it you may get a fever the next day you must listen to them if your classmate tells you to do something and if you do not do it what do you think will happen he or she may stop talking to you think of your elders even if you do not obey them they keep saying do this don't do this they love you very much that is why they tell you what to do again and again even if you do not like it if you remember this it will be very easy for you to listen to your elders so now here are five things you can do to make your grandparents happy first spend time with them just sitting next to them and telling them a story or asking them about their childhood will make them extremely happy second greet them if you live with your grandparents wish them good morning when you wake up you can give them a hug and sometimes ask them how they are feeling third run errands for them because grandparents are old they have health problems and it becomes difficult for them to do their work since you are young and strong 
You can help them around the house by serving them food, tea or snacks and even washing their plates and mugs. Fourth, respect them. Like I already said before, listen to your grandparents. If they ask you to do something for them, do it. If they tell you not to do something, don't do it. They know what is best for you. Fifth, speak to your grandparents politely. Sometimes when you back answer or speak rudely to them, they feel very hurt. So take care of your words and speak to your grandparents and elders with love. So students, this is it for today. I'm sure you always make your grandparents happy and proud. Thank you children. Take care and have a good day.